Hi, y'all. It's Joanne from Junk Journal Treasures. Thank you for joining me today. This morning, I was watching a video by Ann over at Odulcina Scrap. I'll have her channel linked below for you. But she was making a small journal from one of these 6x9 um, envelopes. Oops, looks like I have that partially stuck. What am I doing here? Let me go ahead and stick that down while we're chatting. Anyway, like I said, I thought I'd try to make one and decided just to turn the camera on and bring you along. Okay, so we've got that down. But what I have so far, um, I wanted to use this lady on the cover and I have this digital page, this was from uh, Ruby and Pearl XO, one of her kits. I forget which one, but um, this is from her. And what I've done so far is I went on and started the signature. And what I did, I followed Anne with this. Um, can you see how the edges don't meet up? What she does is when she folds them, she doesn't fold them to meet exact. She goes off center with them a little bit and it gives it this, you know, this look. I think that's really neat. I like that. I went in and I went on and um, inked up all the edges. But I let me just flip through it real quick. It's not sewn. It's not finished or anything. Just got some stamping on here. These papers are mostly from Heather over at uh, Ruby and Pearl XO. It's from a couple different sets that she has. But anyway, I've, you know, like I said, I've started on that. And I want this on the cover, but I can't decide. I'm debating. That's why I decided to stop and just turn the camera on and maybe I can do something like this which I think is cute. Put that on, and then I've got some laces and fabric over here to the side. Thought maybe I'd use some, you know, some of these laces. Just layer up some different, th oh, excuse me. Um, layer up some different pieces on it. Or the other thing I was thinking if I do that, I can use this piece inside. So that's an option. But I've got this really pretty lace. I'm not sure if this was a tablecloth or what this was. But I was thinking about just putting this and using that. And then if I can grab it, and then putting her on like that. I think that's real pretty, too. So I'm not sure. I've kind of been going back and forth. Let me move this around a little bit. I kind of do like that. I think maybe that's what I'm going to do. And then another, the next one I make, I might do it, you know, just with this and the digi paper. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I tucked myself into it. Okay. Where exactly do I want this? Nope. Yeah, maybe something like that. I think I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. I may go back and sew around it. I don't know. Can't do that now because my sewing machine isn't close enough to my desk. But let's. Okay. Let's just go ahead and get started here. Get some 
glue on these thicker pieces first. a more efficient way to do that, but that'll work, right? Let's lift this up. And just put some around here. Get some on these heavier pieces. Like I said, I may just go back and do some stitching. Make sure it's down well. This is so pretty. Okay, let's just start with that. Let me get the top on, get that out of the way, get my scissors, and see what we're going to do here. Oops. All right. made a journal with these six by nine envelopes before. I made one lately, but I think they're really cute. So I think I might make another one after this and like I said, do it the other way with the uh, digital paper and just layer up some different laces. how much I want to overhang. That's why I just cut it kind of big and go from there. Trim it down. I may just wait until I get the rest of the, oops, the rest of the cover done before I decide how much I want to trim it down. Okay, let's go ahead and get it folded. Okay, well, we've got to start. Go ahead now and glue this down. I cut it a little bit smaller than the envelope because I did want to just a little bit to show through. Um, I think I'm going to do the fabric tac again. I've been using fabric tac for so many years. It's you know it's the one that I really trust the most. I haven't been using art glitter glue all that long. I mean, it works well, but certain things I'd still rather use the Fabri-Tac for. What about y'all? What's your favorite glues? What do you think of the, each of these? Try to get that centered. Oops, come down a little. There. Golly, we've got it started. Yeah, let me take a look. Yeah, I really just really like how these 
look when they're all off-centered like that and layered looking. Gives it that little bit of a more shabby chic look. Grungy, shabby chic. All that good stuff. Okay. Like I said, I'm not finished with this, but it's a good start. Now, what's next? To decide how I'm going to trim this. Actually, like I said to begin with, I'd better wait till closer to the end and see. Okay. I like that. I have this piece. I wonder if we might want to just edge it. It's kind of cute. I'll cut that down if I do want to use it. And then do we want more lace on it? What do we want, y'all? Um, Okay, come here. And then let's just cut a piece off and take a better look. Do we want to see more of this lace? Goodness me, I can't decide. I think I am going to put that blue ribbon down. Which side? This side. Make sure we don't glue the wrong side. Some little, where did I put them? Shoot. Some little, what do you call them? Um, those little corner picture things used for pictures in a scrapbook. I forgot what they're called. Lindsay sent me some in my Christmas package, and I thought I had them right here. Don't see them. Shoot. What'd they do with them? Y'all see them? Probably not. Oh. Oh, what's this thing? Yeah. These are silver ones. I think I 
zoomed in. All right, what else? Still haven't decided about this. Or, hold on. around her or not. Let me just play around here a minute. Oops, that didn't work very well, did it? By the time I finish messing around with it, there's going to be no paper left. Sets by uh, Ruby and Pearl. I'll go ahead and have her Etsy shop listed too. Well, it's still a little big. But if I do that, I don't really want this. Will it come off or will I trim it? It will come off. Always fix our messes, right? There. I think I like it. Let's go ahead and do that. One here. All around the edges. think of that. Then, oh, because I took that strip off, I should have put the corners on that, that too. Or maybe I will put, what will I put? Let me see. a thinner one too. Let's see. Just cut this real quick. Yeah, maybe something like that. Just cut it down a tiny bit more. 
will work. See where I distressed that little corner fold there? I wanted to add a little something to it, but now I'm going to cover it all up. But that's okay, too. hard to plan too far in advance, isn't it? Start on something, then you change it. Okay, that must be cute. Maybe, uh, well, get off me. What else? What? Have some sort of an applique or something. That, or what else do we have? Let's look. And I've also got a black one. Nah, don't think I want that one. I've got another box over there somewhere. Well, I think I'm going to leave it here. Decide what I want to do and then come back tomorrow and we'll finish. Yeah, I think that's good for now. I thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you will consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. That'd really help a lot. And again, thank you for being here. Happy crafting.